What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do countdown timers like this in your Zoom meetings and your Zoom webinars. And I think it will really encourage on-time attendance. Let's check it out. So you may know that I recently published a book called The Online Meeting Survival Guide. And this is a great book. I give it away 100% for free. There's a totally great uh, chapter on Zoom and getting up to speed. And one of the things we talk about is, you know, meeting productivity and people need to show up on time. So this is a subtle way or maybe not so subtle way of encouraging on-time attendance at your meetings. Plus, if you have like a high-powered webinar with hundreds or thousands of people, it's kind of cool to have a countdown timer. And I'm going to show you a super easy way to do it. And then a little bit more advanced way that's a little bit more professional and cool as well. So first of all, you're going to need a countdown timer video clip, which I'm going to give you for free. Uh, I'm making a lot of these, and I also give you the Adobe After Effects template so that you can make your own. You can customize the colors, change the backgrounds, all of that. So that'll be really cool. In fact, this is kind of what it looks like here. It's uh, This is one of them. This is a pulsing kind of red and white countdown timer. It's 10 minutes long. And uh, I'm not going to go into how to do that in After Effects. If you want me to show you guys that in another tutorial video, let me know. But essentially, you're going to be able to download that video clip. I'll show you how to do that and just use it with Zoom. That's it. You can use it as your video background. You could use it as a screen share and you can show everybody a countdown timer. Now, I'm also going to show you a little bit more complex way of doing something like this, where we have an overlay on top of video which is kind of cool. Then you can overlay it on like maybe multiple cameras. And then I'm in, with that, I'm going to show you how to do it with, you know, OBS or vMix or Wirecast and then pump that video into Zoom, which you can see I'm doing here. Anything over here gets pulled into Zoom and you could do a little bit kind of higher quality production. A lot of, some of my customers did ask for this. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So the simple and easy way to do this is to basically just share the video clip. So in on our blog, you're going to be able to get to this Dropbox file. So on the Dropbox, you're going to get all of these different video clips. So one is says, you know, the meeting will start in 10 minutes. That's the one we'll use in our uh, setup here. But there are others as well um, in here that you can use. Uh, there's a red and green one, a white one, and then, of course, the whole template for you guys to do. So, for example, let's open up this one. Now, what you're seeing here is this is simply Windows Media Player. Just basically play the video clip, right? And then what we're going to do is we're just going to use Zoom. Let me just turn that part off because it's a little bit confusing. Let's just turn my video off. And I'm going to share screen. And I'm just going to choose to share the video clip with the 10-minute countdown timer. Now, obviously, you need to time this to start at 10 minutes before your meeting. And you want to optimize for screen sharing of a video clip and click share. And now you are sharing this video clip. Now, a quick little Zoom tip is that you can spotlight this video by right-clicking it. And when you spotlight the video, it goes full screen for all attendees, assuming that you are the host. If you pin the video, that's just for you personally. If you spotlight it, it works for everybody. Now, what about that cooler side of things that we talked about where we have the ability to do the, this as an overlay? Now, to do that, I'm just going to show you from this screen here because it's a little bit easier and I'll use my PTZ Optics camera to just zoom in a little bit to make this easier. Okay. This is vMix, but you can do this on Wirecast, OBS, no problem. What I'm doing here is this is a, a file with a green background. So I can apply something called a color key and basically make this video transparent. So when I do that, I can overlay it different styles directly over other video. So I can overlay it on top of multiple cameras. So if you're doing like a virtual event or something really cool where you want to do, you know, show different angles and different things, you can do that. But as you know, uh, you need a video production software to do that. Now, 
In video production software like this, you can output a virtual camera directly into, and I'll show this here, just gotta turn this on, bada boom, into Zoom. So uh, via this camera, you can see essentially that anything that I output out of vMix or Wirecast or XSplit, they all have virtual camera tutorials, you can pump that into Zoom. So I'm not gonna show you how to do that in this video. And that is because we have multiple videos on how to do that already on our YouTube channel. If you like videos like this, please let me know in the comments below. And let me know uh, if you wanna see different timers, maybe longer timers, uh, different styles. I'm actually pretty good at Adobe After Effects and I wanna create this collection of countdown timers that people can use, not just with Zoom, it's also good for live streams, Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, all kinds of different tutorials. But uh, check out the link below, which goes to the streamgeeks.us blog post about how to use all of this. And you can get the Dropbox file uh, with all the different files and the After Effects files if you want to customize these yourself. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And don't forget to subscribe because you don't become a video production expert overnight. And we're here at the Stream Geeks trying to help us all learn these new technologies.